chronic pain affects approximately 20% of the European population. This not only has a significant impact on quality of life, but also costs the EU billions of dollars every year. Chronic pain conditions are notoriously difficult to treat due primarily to a poor understanding of the mechanisms involved in chronic pain sensation. Most patients are treated using opiates which offer broad pain relief. However, opiate-based pain relief is known to have negative side effects, increase tolerance to the drug over time, and potentially be addictive. The unsatisfactory model of treatment for chronic pain has led the medical community to search for alternative pain relief to replace or complement current medications used to treat chronic pain. One of the forerunners in the race to find a treatment is CBD cannabidiol. Despite the anecdotal evidence of the effectiveness of CBD, due to current laws and regulations, CBD oil cannot be used to treat or diagnose any condition or illness. However, a growing body of research suggests that CBD oil may show potential for therapeutic use for chronic pain conditions. Here is a selection of some of the most promising studies about CBD oil for chronic pain. Cannabis sativa has been used for hundreds of years in natural and traditional medicine to treat painful symptoms. However, it is only recently with the legalization of CBD products that the medical community has taken an interest in using medical cannabis to improve health and well-being. Research is still in its infancy and there are limited ongoing clinical trials to determine the effectiveness and long-term effects of CBD oil on the body. However, pharmaceutical companies are beginning to recognize the medical potential of CBD oil for pain relief. Currently, there is only one approved CBD-based medication for pain management available in Europe. Sativex is a combination of equal parts THC and CBD and is applied as a nasal spray. It is prescribed for alleviating chronic pain due to multiple sclerosis. Further studies are being conducted and here are some of the most promising studies about the use of CBD oil for chronic pain conditions. Inflammation. Acute inflammation is the body's natural response to illness or injury. Inflammation works by flooding the injured area with white blood cells which release chemical compound to protect the site from further damage. However, a prolonged inflammatory response or when inflammation occurs in places where it isn't needed can lead to chronic illnesses and autoimmune disease. Some of the illnesses caused by inflammation include rheumatoid arthritis, an autoimmune disorder, heart disease, or some types of cancer. 1. A review published in the Journal of Pain indicated that CBD interacts with the receptors in the endocannabinoid system to reduce inflammation and alleviate symptoms of chronic pain. The review was performed on current double-blind randomly controlled trials RCTs, that used crossover or parallel designs to ensure maximum efficiency and validity. The results of the review suggested that the most effective applications of CBD were those combined with THC. It is hypothesized that cannabinoids interact with each other to activate or inhibit endocannabinoid receptors through a process known as the entourage effect. 2. A study published in the Journal of Experimental Medicine found that CBD suppressed inflammatory pain in rodents without causing tolerance usually seen in opiates. It was discovered that it is actually A3 glycine receptors and not CB1 or CB2 receptors that respond to CBD to reduce inflammation. The experiment was conducted using mice models. One group had A3 glycine receptors while the other group did not. The results showed that the group that lacked the A3 glycine receptors experienced no cannabinoid-induced analgesic effects. Rheumatoid arthritis. Unlike osteoarthritis, which is caused by wear and tear on joints, rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease where the body's own immune system attacks healthy joints. White blood cells, which usually destroy pathogens or foreign tissue, flood to the joints and cause inflammation. The disease is characterized by chronic joint inflammation which causes painful, swollen joints, stiffness, and fatigue. There is currently no cure for rheumatoid arthritis, but there are many recent studies that suggest that CBD may be able to help manage the symptoms of the disease. 3. The first ever controlled study on the effect of CBD on rheumatoid arthritis was conducted in 2006. It aimed to assess the efficacy and safety of cannabis-based medicine on alleviating chronic pain in people with rheumatoid arthritis. The randomized, double-blind study examined 58 patients over 5 weeks, with 31 random patients taking Sativex spray, a combination of CBD and THC, and the other 27 taking a placebo. The results showed that the patients taking Sativex reported less pain and fewer disease symptoms than the placebo group. 4. A study published in Therapeutics and Clinical Risk Management, showed that topically applied CBD gel significantly reduced inflammation and joint pain in rat models. 
The added benefit of topical CBD gels is that they appear to offer targeted relief and are not absorbed into the bloodstream. 5. One study looked at the impact of oxidative stress on patients with rheumatoid arthritis and investigated how CBD could be used to target and reduce oxidative stress and inflammation. The results suggest that the antioxidant properties of CBD could inhibit certain proteins that reduce the function of the endocannabinoid system. This, in turn, can reduce oxidative stress on a cellular level. Multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis is a progressive disease that damages the protective coating on the outside of nerve cells, causing impaired muscle coordination. Pain associated with multiple sclerosis is notoriously difficult to manage, with many patients reporting that even the lightest touch on the skin can cause an extremely painful response. The chronic pain experienced by people with MS is both neuropathic and nociceptive and accompanied by severe muscle cramps. 6. Spasticity and spasms are painful muscle contractions that occur in over 60% of patients with multiple sclerosis. A study found that Sativex, CBD and THC, was able to alleviate symptoms of spasticity by up to 30% in more than 70% of patients. 7. Another study used a viral model of multiple sclerosis. The study demonstrated that CBD can help to reduce the migration of white blood cells across the blood-brain barrier. This could prevent them from activating the immune response that triggers inflammation-induced pain in patients with multiple sclerosis. Fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is a widespread, painful condition that affects the entire musculoskeletal system. Painful symptoms are also accompanied by sleep issues, mood disorders, and extreme fatigue. Research suggests that the pain associated with fibromyalgia is caused by the nervous system affecting how the brain perceives pain sensation. Studies into the effect of CBD on pain perception indicate that the compound may be effective at interrupting the relay signals as they are modulated by the endocannabinoid system. 8. A 2016 study suggested that one of the possible causes of fibromyalgia is an endocannabinoid deficiency that leads to poor regulation and increased pain perception in areas that contain what are known as pain nodules. Pain nodules are trigger points in multiple sclerosis patients that cause intense pain. The authors suggest that administering CBD could correct the cannabinoid deficiency and decrease painful symptoms. 9. Research into the efficacy of CBD for treating chronic pain associated with fibromyalgia is limited. However, there are numerous studies that investigate the effect of CBD on neuropathic pain which is one of the types of chronic pain experienced by people with fibromyalgia. In a 2008 study using rat models, it was found that the rats administered with full-spectrum CBD experienced increased antihyperalgesic effects which were mediated by vanilloid receptors, rather than CB1 and CB2 receptors as expected. This leads to a reduction in pain sensation which could be applicable to fibromyalgia, which is characterized by hyperalgesia around certain trigger points in the body. Chronic cancer pain. Cancer pain is experienced by many patients with cancer in advanced stages. Chronic cancer pain is difficult to treat, as the cancerous cells attack different body systems making it hard to target. Additionally, some chemo treatments can cause painful side effects, which exacerbate this chronic discomfort. While many patients resort to opiate-based pain relief, other patients want an option that does not come with a high risk of tolerance and addiction. 10. One study suggests that CBD combined with THC has potent analgesic and anti-inflammatory effects in cancer patients. This offers an effective option for patients that are not receiving adequate pain relief from conventional opiate-based medications. The authors examined 43 patients in a double-blind, randomized study with one group administered a THC, CBD spray, another group administered a THC spray, and another a placebo. The results showed that the group taking the THC, CBD spray felt a significant reduction in pain symptoms. Moreover, patients reported that there was no loss of effect after long-term use, and these patients did not ask to increase the dosage of their opiate pain medication. The wrap-up. Conventional pain medication for treating chronic inflammation and pain often have unwanted side effects and a high risk of tolerance and addiction. Studies suggest that CBD oil could potentially offer a solution to this problem, as the products have very few side effects and none of them is serious. However, because research into CBD is still only in the early stages, there is still not a lot known about how CBD affects the body with long-term use. It is also unknown how it affects minority demographics, such as pregnant women and infants. 
with increased interest from the scientific community and ongoing research into the benefits of CBD for managing chronic pain, we are one step closer to a better regulated CBD industry and the validation of what most CBD users already know to be true, that CBD works.